In this video I want to show you how to create a static photorealistic image with the Raytrace Studio. Materials have already been assigned therefore as well as the lightning adjustments been made. You are currently viewing the static wireframe mode respectively shaded with edges. And you can also see that various colors have already been assigned to this instrument. When we switch to studio mode, we see that quite different materials have been assigned here. This instrument appears very dark currently. You could be afraid that it is dark in the ray tray studio as well, but that's not the case. For the lightning scene, I will use a picture, meaning image based lightning. And within the scene editor below environment, we have the possibility to adjust the intensity once for the advanced studio and once for the ray trace studio. And I promise you that value which is currently set is perfectly fine regardless of the value down here. As soon as I enter the ray trace studio now, you might realize that the lightning here is adjusted very well, first of all. And if the picture was too dark at all, with this brightness value, we can adjust the brightness of the picture. Therefore, you can also use this lever here. The preview mode is currently photorealistic. This has nothing to do with the static image. You could also throttle the preview mode, and this might make sense, especially if you want to do further adjustments. You can see well that the purely reflective surfaces are displayed in black. Nonetheless, Within this mode, you can do settings relatively quickly. Before you start the static image creation, you should access the Ray Tracing Studio Editor, which is very important. Here we can define how long Enix should calculate for this static image. This setting is available once for the dynamic mode. For example, for this preview, it takes 5 minutes. Enix will count as many passes as possible until 5 minutes are over. But that's not important at the moment. Important now is how the static image is being calculated. We have two settings for this, the resolution, respectively the image size. That would be the render window right now. We would touch the window here and the image size will be inherited. But you can also specify a pixel size directly on user defined. The resolution can additionally be adjusted. Accordingly, this pixel size changes here, doubled or halved. Very important is the time limit. We do not indicate whether shadows or reflections should be calculated here. Enix will always use all these parameters within the Ray Tray Studio for picture calculation. The only thing we can do to limit the quality is the time that is expected. You will notice that, of course, the picture quality will not increase at some point. When calculating the picture, the following happens. Light comes from a light source and strikes a surface. This light is reflected by the surface again, as indirect lightning, so to speak. And this light in turn strikes another surface and is also reflected here again. And in our reality, this happens infinitely often. And that's why, of course, we have to limit the time here. The light weakens over time more and more. At some point, it is so weak that time has no effect on the quality at all. If you're still willing to increase the rendering time, we still have the possibility while remote render to use an external server, but further explanation isn't part of this training. This is still the preview mode here, which can be paused at all. Once you have made all the required adjustments, you can start the static image. And you notice, completely disregarded by this preview here from the dynamic rendering, that now a static image is rendered. The picture is a bit brighter than before because there are also other calculations that take place now. I have already mentioned that caustic calculation is used for glass material for example. We also have a much more realistic shadow quality because shadows in the preview are partly only simulated and do not really follow a lightning. 
If you are satisfied with your picture and perhaps the time is not reached yet, then you can now pause and save the actual status. Just because we have used a solid background here, we can also set a transparent background when saving. But this is only possible when using TIFF or PNG as format because JPEG cannot contain any transparency at all. If you want to change your background afterwards, it's easy if you use TIFF or PNG format with a transparent background. And once you have saved your static image, I'll cancel it at that time, you can erase your static image again. Now you're back in the preview mode of the Ray Trace Studio.